Welcome to episode ten ninety three. Gary Friedman, from junior college dropout to luxury furniture billionaire. This is an outline of episode ten ninety three. Let us meet Gary Friedman. Of connecting the dots, meeting the people, creating the partnerships, until it became what it is today, which is arguably the most innovative new store in the world. In- It's hard to imagine, but this is the first and original restoration hardware store founded in Eureka, California, in 1980. Everything's calm. It makes everyone pause when you experience it to consider new things. Eat. Think about the way we want to interact socially. With each idea unfolding and surprising you. Like a beautiful barista bar and outdoor wine terrace. It's the first time we've embedded an entire interior design firm into the retail experience. A six-story integrated art exhibit called New York Night by Allison Berger. He was born in 1957 in San Francisco. When he was five years old, his father died, and he was raised by his mother in Sonoma, California. With a D average in Santa Rosa Junior College, he dropped out at the age of 20 to work for Gab. He worked 11 years at Gab, rising to regional manager, overseeing 63 Gab stores. In 1988, at the age of 31, he joined William Sonoma as senior vice president of store and operations. His biggest achievement at William Sonoma. He turned Pottery Barn from a $50 million sales to more than $1 billion luxury brand. In that time, that current CEO Gary Friedman took the top job, reportedly after he was passed over for the CEO role at his former employer, William Sonoma.、Uh, this was kind of a story of,、uh, you know, heartbreak. I had spent、uh, 14 years of my career at William Sonoma. I was there from, I think, when I joined the company, $200 million to $2 billion. Um, you know, I used to.、Uh, I worked for a, a guy that I, you know, really respected, Howard Lester,、uh, mm. who was the kind of chairman and CEO. And、uh, Howard used to always tell me, "Kid, no one's going to be the CEO but you."、Um, you know,、no. you made me. You made me a wealthy man. And then one day, he hired somebody 25 years older than me to to be the CEO, and it, it broke my heart.、So. Basically, he used five million dollars of his own money to buy Restoration Hardware. Which was on the verge of bankruptcy. You know, we—I just got going, and、uh, you know, almost went bankrupt multiple times. You know, the first three years, I had to raise money three times,、uh, and in in 2001, it was a very difficult time to raise money. Many people argue Restoration Hardware's characteristic style is really a reflection of Friedman's personal taste. Under Friedman, Restoration Hardware rebranded as RH. Friedman pushed the brand further toward furniture and high-end home goods. And in the next twenty years, he has a lot of fun and some luck. This is a stock price of our age since it went public in 2012. In June 2021, Gary Friedman is 63 years old and he's worth 4.3 billion dollars. And the future of our age as a luxury brand. Company is also moving further into hospitality. It already operates restaurants. With the debut of its RH Guest House concept in New York City, followed by an RH Guest House in Aspen, Colorado, Friedman rejects labeling them as hotels, saying RH is trying to create a new market for privacy and luxury. And this is the secret of his success. When you know, a lot of people have, you know, said to me, "Oh, you've got such a great vision. Look at these galleries. Look at this. How did you see all that?" And I'd say, you know, you, you, know, you can sit around on the sidelines and try to. Imagine anything and everything you want, and、um, and it's all kind of interesting, but it's not relevant till you get going. And you know, we like to say inside RH that that we we just have to be directionally right. And if we're directionally right and we get going, our learning curve goes like that. You、mm-hmm. know, once you once you begin begin doing, then thinking, you you start learning at a rapid pace and you keep evolving. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Gary Friedman: Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace.
and prosperity.